have to go out and make any announcements. When you know who you truly are, in spite of your circumstances, you can lose your job, you can lose your family, you can make mistake after mistake after mistake, you can lose your money, but you won't lose your spirit. People cannot believe in you, they can laugh at you, they can say you can't come back, lose your home, lose your car, everything, but you won't lose one truth, one redeeming truth that can keep you in the game. That is, when there's something in you that's greater than what you are now going through and that you are not going to become hypnotized by. It. That's what happened to most people. They focus on their problems. not willing to call into being the highest and the strongest that's within you when you're facing life's challenges, life will trample you. It will suck the life out of you. Your life will be miserable if you're not living in alignment with who you are. But see, when you discover the truth of, of this goodness, this power that you have within you, that, that truth will set you free from ever being a victim in life. That truth will enable you to handle things with a level of equanimity that will surprise you. As you look toward the future, as we now have put another block, not only is it possible, but it's necessary that we test ourselves. It's necessary that we focus and pursue our dream passion. It's necessary that we stretch and challenge ourselves every day and get ourselves surrounded with people that are strange like we are. People that are dreaming like we are. People that have found something that consumes them like we are. People that have found something that excites them like we are excited. And as you do those kinds of things, recognizing that you are the raw material and you are all you need, you are more than enough to handle your circumstances, to overcome events, to rebuild your life, to recreate your future, to reinvent yourself, to change your personal history. Tussle with a whale. I don't handcuff lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Bad dude. Bad. Fast. 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 Last night, I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast. And you, George Fullman, all of you chumps are going to bow when I whoop him. I'm going to show you how great I am. <laughs>